Welcome to Abbey Park in Cowinning this afternoon where Cowinning Rangers take on Beath Juniors for a place in the Scottish Cup final, Eddie. Beath take a 3-0 lead into today's game, but do you think the Buffs can do it and get a comeback here today? This is a tough one. I would never call that, never. Last week you heard Chris saying it's, it's not irretrievable, and it, I don't think it is. In the semi-final of the Scottish Cup, nothing like that. And we're getting snow, by the way, <laughs> here in Abbey Park, almost summertime. No, but it's no irretrievable. Um, we saw that with the Liverpool game the other night there. They came back, banged in four goals. They got through. Same thing could happen here. But John Miller, he'll have different options. Well, a place in the final at stake here. Beath certainly taking a good lead into today's game, but Cowinning Rangers capable of scoring goals at home. So yeah, they've got that capability. They've got the front runners there. The boy Agnew, didn't he play well last week? He was snuffed out the game. So if he came into the game a bit more, there could be a threat. But remember, they've got McLean up front. He's a threat too, That's you know. It. So it's all to play for. Yep, set to be a fantastic game today. Best of luck to both teams. Welcome to Abbey Park this afternoon for the second leg in the semi-final of the Scottish Junior Cup. Yeah, the grand old Abbey Park. You saw pictures of the Abbey. The club's park's named after it. I've been looking forward to this game all week, Beverly. Yep, yeah, me too. And um, here's a nice touch. The mascots there with John Sheridan and Joe Coleman. Yeah. Big day for them. Semi-final of Scottish Cup two young lads there, hopefully they'll be there in the future. And here we go, it's the Buffs to kick us off in the first half. Cashmore on the ball. And here's Isaac Kerr playing it forward, getting it forward early. Going nowhere. And here's Coleman on the right hand side with the throw in. Good and deep. Into Cashmore, good turn. shot. And it's blocked. That's a corner for the mighty. Good cross, headed away by Stewart. There's a volley, and somebody will get that ball in Church Street. And here's McGuinness picking it up. Strike. Keeper parries. A goal! No! How did they miss that oh, one? Oh, that was Agnew there with the chance, but he's foot it wide. That was similar to last week. There's a bad mistake with the goalkeeper. Parried out, but uh, hammered wide. Stuart chests it down. Oh, that was another chance for the Buffs there, Eddie. And a challenge by McLean. It's played out wide for Beath. Good football, fleeting in there. And that's a corner. Corner kick. Reid was lurking in the middle there. Good header away. Dangerous. Still in the, the Beath territory. Coming across. Uh, just too long. Buffs in the attack again, Beverly. It's a good ball into the striker. Foul by Sheridan. Dangerous free kick outside the box. Coleman. And it's a pinball ricochet in there. That's a challenge on McLean. Yeah, it's a bad foul on McLean there. Free kick. Good cross. That's easy peasy to strain. Going to the Buffs. Straight through everyone. Kerr was up there. We really need to start making some of these chances, Eddie. Yeah, we have to use a break. McLean. Excellent tackle by Isaac Kerr, yep, yeah, wonderful tackle. And here's Reid breaking into the box. That's well, a terrific block again by Kerr. And another corner for the mighty. Sheridan's up. Pressure's on here a shot. Blocked again. Buffs under a lot of pressure in the past five, ten minutes. And Reid spreads it wide. This is Chris again down the right hand side. Looking to get a cross in. Takes it in. Well taken by Strain. Joe Coleman with a good early cross. Ross Stewart. It's a goal. Oh, God, that was close. Just over the bar, Eddie. Well, you can see the frustration in the, the dugout there, Beverly. It's coming up to half time, I think, Beverly. Half time results. Yeah, and uh, still 0 0. Yeah, the referee's blown the whistle. All to play for in the second half. So we're half time here at Abbey Park. It's nil nil, Eddie. Game so far. It's been a bit doer, I think. Um, Bees came here and they've, they've basically played before at the back, flat. They've cut everything going through. The two centre halves have done what they did last week. Basically, just knocked everything back into play again. The number six, I can't remember his name. Is it Martin? I think it was. Yeah, uh -huh. He's sitting in there in the middle and he's not doing a great deal apart from mopping up. Well, that's it. I think they've stuck to their game plan. And really, the Buffs have had a couple of chances. Well, they had a sitter of oh. a chance, but... Again, it was almost like a repeat of last week. Yeah. 
the boy Agnew was through in the first two, three minutes. I said, oh, here it is. It's going to turn the whole game and miss the setter again. So it's almost as similar to last week with the first half. Yeah, yeah. The Buffs had all the play, played some good football. But as soon as they hit the final third, that cutting edge is just no there. Well, if they're going to do anything, they have to do it in this half. They need to come out with all guns blazing, I would say. The half, the Chris has got to get them fired up. I mean, Chris is fired up enough as it is there in the, in the, in the dugout in the, in the sideline. But, um, yeah, he's got to do that. Me, I'll just come out and do the same again. If I was me, I'd just be sitting back and saying, thank you very much. Buffs have got a bit more cutting edge up front and test the goalkeeper more. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. And the mighty to kick us off, second half. Yeah, it's all to play for again for the Buffs. And this is Cashmore closing it down early. It's Coleman for a shy. Right Aiming to find Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, didn't get to him there, but Buffs up and under. Got to keep it under control. Straight out to Agnew. Corner kick. And it's McGuinness with a short corner into Agnew. Good play between them. Lovely play. Great cross. It's a goal! A goal. That's a play. Sneaks in there between the defence. Terrific goal by Buffs. Now is this going to be the turning point for the game, Beverly? Well, that's one goal back. Just need to keep going. This again, Beverly. Here it is in slow-mo. Wonderful training ground set piece, this. Yeah, it's really well worked, Eddie, between McGuinness and Agnew. There's a reverse pass there back into Agnew. They've drawn the B defence right up to the edge of the six yard line. You can see it there on the left hand side. One, two, three play B players. And they're leaving Stewart. Uh, Stewart loses the marker. Defence is caught out there. It's a terrific goal, well and headed in. Legs at home. And it's probably the first time I've seen Sheridan play out of position there. Here it is again from the other side. Knocked in. Terrific header. Great finish. 1 0. And the mighty to kick us off again. They just need to keep to their game plan here. Yeah, they need to keep tight at the back as usual. Here's a free kick. Read against the wall. Go nowhere. Back to the goalkeeper. Nice and cool. Busting attack. It's a foul. Dangerous area. It's a cross. Comes across. Into, oh, great save by the goalkeeper, Grindley. That's another fantastic save from Grindley. Yeah, I've been impressed with this goalkeeper. Keeps his eye on it, hands up. Could have come off the crossbar, but he makes sure. Nice and safe. Tucked it away. And here's Ross Stewart. He's running at the defence. The mad run in there. Is that a penalty? He's got a free kick, I think. It's just outside the box. Taken quickly. Ah, wasted. Corner kick. McGuinness. Long and deep. That's a good knockdown. Here's a shot. Oh! That's a good block. Ricocheted by. Another corner kick, Beverly. Is that a penalty? No, the referee's not going to wear it. And here come the buffs again. Searching for the second goal, Eddie. Yeah, they're going to try and get across there. They need to get in there deep. Up the goal. Headed away. And here's the substitute on the ball. Good feet. Yeah. So header. Perfect header, but wrong direction. Here's a free kick for the Buffs in a good area. Dangerous, straight on. Goalkeeper got a good view, I think. What's he going to do? Is he going to bend it? Oh, Off poor free wall. kick. It's a challenge. and yeah, be on the break. Well, here they come. Buffs caught with two at the back. It's laid off. Is that Reed? Yep. Has a shot, but once again it's Isaac Kerr. The long legs of his getting in there and blocking it. Good challenge. There it is again. Kick out the strain. Knocked back into the bus defence. Here comes the substitute, Eddie. It's a break. Is this going to be a goal? Goalkeeper caught out. Oh, he just gets a good hand to it there. That's a good save. Can we see it again? Here it is. Here's the break. Good run. Kerr's Kerr. putting pressure on him. Yeah, it's a terrific, it's a good one-hand save. And the Buffs are putting pressure on here. Lo looking for this goal, Eddie. Yeah, they're pushing hard for this goal. Oh, it's a good touch on. Save. Nobody there to put it in. Cleared by Fisher. It's another cross by Buffs. Pushing hard again. Clash of heads there. Cleared again by the B's defence. Once again, they're breaking. Buffs left with two at the back. 
find a cross. Here we go again. Is this going to be a goal? Oh, and he stumbled it wrong. Oh, unlucky. And keeper strains out well there. Another cross by Buffs. Handled well again. Yeah, recovered well by Grindley. What's it to be, Beverly? Not long to go in this game. There it is. And it's B through to the Scottish Junior Cup final. Yeah, on the day, Cowinan Rangers come away with a 1 0 win. But it's not enough, Eddie. No, 3 1 aggregate. But look at those fans over there. They're loving it. This is what it's all about getting through to the, the major trophies. And B have done it. There's a nice gesture there, the Buffs, Buffs players. Chris Strain and up to the players as well. Congratulating the, the Bees players. Yeah, I think the Buffs have given it everything here on the day, Eddie. But Bees have managed to do their job and they're into that final. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's hear from the two managers, John Miller and Chris Strain. With me is manager Chris Strain at the end of the game. Chris, commiserations. Players gave everything, but it just wasn't to be today. Yeah, um, congratulations must go to Bees. I think that's the first thing that we'd say. Um, over the two legs have won the game. and um, Despite that, I'm immensely proud of the effort that the boys put in today. Um, they knew they were in for a tough day, but completely dominated today's match. And, and, and my eyes, um, there wasn't a failure in the team today. But the, the, the overriding feeling is one of disappointment and one of regret. But we've got a lot of young boys here who can really learn from that, use that, as I said, the disappointment of last week, use it, remember it, and, and use it as a fuel to make sure that you, you go on and better yourself in the future, and we're a young team and we'll, we'll, that experience will stand us in good stead. With me is Beath manager John Miller at the end of the game. John, congratulations. Thank you very much. Into the final of the Scottish Junior Cup. We must be delighted with the performance today. Yeah, not so much with the performance, <laughs> but we, we dug in, we dug in. Yeah. We, knew that, we knew that Cohen would throw men forward. And, it doesn't matter how much you say to them, it's not how it's just Peter and win the game, you're, you're, you're protecting that 3 0, so you're giving them a lot of possession. But to be fair to all the players, they dug in and they defended cross balls and they put their body in the line. And over the two games, I think we deserved to go in the final. Yep, and you've made history today actually getting to the cup final, so we're looking forward to that for the occasion. We're looking forward to the occasion, it's, as I say, a lot has been done. The, the, the work that goes on behind the scenes, we're clubs of a different class, everybody knows that in the junior game. So I'm just glad for boys like John and Robert McCarran and Maggie Jackson and everybody else in the committee that's put a lot of hard work in that we're through the final piece themselves in the forward. Brilliant. And ahead is Harrowford or Pollock will be your opponents. Any preference? No, no. Just glad to be there and we'll just take whoever we get in on the day. So the journey ends here for Cohen and Rangers in their cup run, Eddie. But congratulations, I think, to Beath for an excellent performance. Yeah, they did the job over two games. Last week, 3-0. Second half. That was their, to me that was their cup final, that was their big game, the second half at Beath. Today I thought it was a doer game, they played the game I would play probably, sort of shore up at the back, hold them out and don't let them in, and they did that. The young sort of buff players like the Agnews and the Stewarts of this world never got a chance to actually do anything very much, mm -hmm. um, although they got a goal in the second half. Yeah, they obviously got their goal early on in the second half, but they just couldn't get the all-important second goal yeah. to push on. But I don't think you can fault the effort and commitment, as Chris was saying. Well, I think it's fantastic. We've, we've actually, a club like the Buffs, who are in the second division, got a run like this. It's terrific to see these young players getting a, a crack at that level because they don't come around very often. And there's Bees. For a long time, they've been kind of trying to get up there. The final of the Scottish Cup. That's it. And they've made history today, actually getting into the Scottish Cup final. Yeah. And we'll be there, the Football Shorts team, to cover all the action. Yeah, hopefully we'll be there, yes, Beverly. <laughs> um, but certainly, I'd like to say to Beath as well, to John Miller and his team, uh, it's an, a, a remarkable thing for North Ayrshire, because we're an Ayrshire crew and we follow the Ayrshire teams. It's remarkable for a team like that to get through. We wish them all the best when it comes to the Cup final. Absolutely. Well, make sure you join us next time for more highlights and thanks for being with us today. One, two, three. Well, well done, done, the boss. We're proud of you. to be Beverly, not long to go in this game, there it is, and it's B through to the Scottish Junior Cup final.